Good morning. Today we are going to learn how to set the share and access settings on a Google document. When you create a new Google document, the access settings default to private, which means you are the only one who can view the document. When you need to embed a document on a website, you want to collaborate with another person, or submit a document to your teacher, you must adjust these settings first. Let's start by opening a Google document. Make sure you title it. That's always your first thing. You'll start working. And now we're going to set our privacy settings. Locate the blue share button in the top right corner. Notice right now the button has a lock symbol. If I hover over that button, it tells me that that lock symbol means that it is set to private. Let's click on that button and we get a new window. In this window, there is the URL at the top. Every Google document presentation spreadsheet has its own URL. That's how you'll share it. That's where you'll embed it. This also tells me who has access to this document. Right now, it is private and I am the only person who can access it. Say I want to share this document with one other person so that we can work together on it. All I have to do is add that person's email address and then set their permission levels. It defaults to edit, which means that person can get in, edit, delete, add. She can basically have the same rights that I have. Or I can set her to can comment, which means she can't change any of the document itself, but she can come over and make comments throughout that will show up on the side. Or I can give her view only permissions, which means this person can look at the document, but nothing else. You have the option, I'm going to set it to edit. You can notify the person you're sharing with them. If you already have told them, you don't need to send them an email. You can uncheck the box. Then you're going to hit share and save. You also can set the overall document privacy. Let's go ahead and click the change setting and a new window with all of my options pop up. I can set it to public on the web, which means anyone can find and access my document anyone with the link. This is what I would suggest when you are embedding a document on a website. Anyone at MUHSD can find it. Anyone at MUHSD with the link or private. So let's go ahead and select anyone with the link. Once you do that, then you have to also determine what their level is. I'm going to leave it to view since this document will be embedded on a website. Click Save. And notice now this has changed from private to anyone with the link. I'm going to click save because I added her name in there and now she shows up here as well. So we're done here. Notice that our share button has changed. The lock is gone and replaced by a person with a link. If I hover over it, it lets me know that anyone with the link has access to this video. That's how simple sharing and changing access levels on a Google document is.